So for a side flip, the first thing you want to figure out is which type of side flip you want to do. Today I'm going to be doing one off two feet, but what you can also do is separate your feet. So the difference is this, both feet together, jump, or you can just run, have your feet separated. Usually what I do, this is different for other people, but what I do is to get more height, I punch off both feet. But when I also want to get distance, that's when I separate my feet. So I can just run straight into the side flip and I don't have to stop to do the punch. So today I'm going to be doing the punch because I find it's easier to learn that way because most people get more height with both legs. So what you want to do, you want to treat the beginning kind of like a front flip. So this is what it's going to look like. You jump off one foot just like the front flip, glide over the ground and then land with both feet. You see how when I did my last step, I turned my whole body 90 degrees. The reason I do that is to set myself up for the side flip. It's called a side flip, so you're going to be starting on the side. So on that last step is when you turn sideways. So the next thing you want to do is when you land with both feet on the ground, you want to angle your body towards the side that you're running from. So I'm running towards there from here, so I angle my body to there. The reason I do this is to get more height. It's going to turn my forwards momentum, block my body and turn it into height instead. So you want to do that and also you want to reach up and set for the flip. You only reach up with one hand during this flip. You don't reach up with two hands like the front flip because that would look weird. So you reach up, boom, one hand. Make sure you really set for it and you really get your height with that hand. At this point, you're ready to do the flip. So what you're going to do is jump as high as you can, reach out, and you're going to bring your knees to your chest. You're also going to bring your hands to your knees. This hand is already going to be down, so you can just bring it to your knee easily. This one, as soon as you jump and you already reached up, then you can bring it to your knee as well. You're going to be flipping sideways like this. The next thing you want to make sure is that your hands are in front of your knees. I found that when I learned them with my hands being tucked behind my knees, it got a lot more out of control. So you want to make sure you learn them with your hands in front of your knees. But that doesn't make a huge difference. So you get as much height as possible, bring your hands to your knees, and then you're going to be spawning the ground the entire flip. The thing about a side flip is you can see the ground rotating the entire flip because you see how I'm looking that way? If I flip the entire time, I just see the ground do a full spin, but I can see it the entire time. So then you'll be able to know when to land because you see the ground the whole time. So what you're going to do is as soon as you see that the ground did a full 360, you're going to start opening up your body from the tucking position. You start opening up everything so you can just land the flip and do whatever you want. Let me show you guys some examples. Thank you guys for checking out my tutorial. Don't forget to click the subscribe button right over here. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, you can click the playlist here, or you can check out my latest video by clicking over here. As usual, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.